Welcome to Squatch DTV, the place where Bigfoot isn't just a legend, but a mystery waiting to be solved. I'm your host, the Squatch Detective, Steve Culls. Today, we're deep diving into one of the more controversial pieces of Bigfoot evidence out there, the Freeman film. Is it real or just another hoax? Let's find out next here on Deep Dive. The Freeman film has been a topic of heated debate since it first surfaced. Paul Freeman, a former U.S. Forest Service patrolman, claimed to have captured this footage in the Washington State Wilderness back in 1994. Some of Freeman's tracks were first examined by Dr. Grover Krantz, associate professor of anthropology at Washington State University in the early 1980s. Here's what Dr. Krantz had to say about those tracks. The ridge and furrow pattern is something I'm afraid for a number of reasons, seems to be beyond the ability of anybody to fake. All the animals that could have been there have different structures, a different type of skin on the sole of the foot. Primates have dermal ridges. The arch pattern of the ridges and the narrow furrows were exactly the kind you'd expect in a primate. The area in which the prints were found was inaccessible to the public, and the stride between the prints and their depth indicated the creature was more than eight feet tall and weighed about 750 pounds. While there is nothing remarkably new in this, the information combined with the existence of dermal ridges makes the sighting more believable than others. The casts are the first of the thousands that have been made over the years to clearly show dermal ridges. Dr. Jeff Meldrum on a recent edition of Squatch DTV Live had this to say about the Freeman film. Do you think that Paul oh. actually captured a Sasquatch? I do. I do. I mean, uh, you know, there's been lots of criticisms raised. He had a fursuit and this and that. He had a bear skin. And, I mean, whatever that is, the, the, the light's playing off the, the hair in a very natural looking way. It doesn't look like faux costume hair. But what makes this film stand out among countless others? First, let's talk about the figure's movement. Unlike many alleged Bigfoot videos, the creature here exhibits a fluid, natural gait, something difficult to replicate in a costume. And then there's the detail of the fur. Notice the way it moves with each step. When compared to confirmed hoaxes, the differences are stark. But, as always, skepticism is healthy. Critics argue that Freeman, having been a Bigfoot enthusiast, had the motive to fabricate evidence. And that's the crux of the matter. Despite advancements in technology, the Freeman film remains unproven, yet undebunked. It's a piece of the puzzle in our understanding of Bigfoot. So is the Freeman film real? The jury is still out. But it's pieces of evidence like this that keep the search for Bigfoot alive and well. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're passionate about unraveling the mysteries of Bigfoot, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join us on Squatch DTV, where the search never ends. Until next time, keep on squatching.